Hey everybody, welcome back to Peppers for Christ. It's Mainstream Monday. Alright. So, cut to the chase. This is going to be another snack review. I got a few flavors lined up. Uh, most of you guys know Takis. Anyways, so I got three different flavors. I want to compare these. A lot of you guys have tried the Nitro and the Fuego. There's a new flavor. There's also... This one here, at least I think, yeah, it says it's new. I seen this the other day, really cool label. Dragon Sweet Chili. So, anyways, pretty cool. I think I got something here on the camera, bear with me. Let's be the lighting in here. I don't know how that looks on y'all's end. Pretty cool looking bag. I'm gonna do this one last. And I think I'm gonna start with the Nitro. And then go Fuego and see how it all works out. I'm not going to read off all the ingredients, but if you guys want to follow them on social media, that's uh, that's where you can go to. Anybody that doesn't have access to these or watching outside of the U.S. Smells good. It's got a Flaming hot habanero and a lime on there. Man, the lighting's terrible in here. Right. That's what it looks like. Chili lime, nitro. Been a while since I've had some Takis. Really like these. They're all rolled up. It's a nice like corn shell. Super crunchy. I don't know if you guys want to know the ingredients or not. You can probably Google the ingredients, but there's the ingredient label right there. Just a fried crunchy snack. Never tried them side by side. Made with, it says here, made with renewable wind and solar energy. So if you're an earth conscious person, there you go. That one looks like it has a little more flavor on it. Definitely. Mm. Really tasty, really tastes the lime and the chili. It's not like a it says extreme on the heat, but I'm not catching any extreme heat on that. This says extreme on this one too. This also is uh, a chili and lime, but that looks almost like a uh, like a cayenne pepper and a lime. We'll see how it see how it adds up. See how these compare. Like I, said, I don't know if you guys care about the ingredients or not, but there's the ingredient list. I just automatically assume if it's a crunchy snack like this, it's probably not going to be the healthiest choice. It looks pretty similar. It's rolled up like a taquito. Crunchy. can't tell which one has more heat. Hands down the Fuego, it tastes like I'm getting a little bit more lime on this, but I'm a sucker for habaneros. This one feels like it's packed more with the citrus and get a little bit of heat on it. The heat is pretty close to the same. The fuego might be a smidge hotter. I'm having a hard time putting these down. 
Mm. All right, so those two say extreme heat. They are not extreme heat. Anybody that's never tried Takis, <coughs> sorry, I went down the wrong way. These are not extreme heat. I mean, unless you're not a chili head, if you're somebody that really likes spicy food, this might be like a one on your one to 10 scale. I'm gonna get a sip of water, cleanse my palate so I can try this new one here. All right, Dragon Sweet Chili. Wow, doesn't that, that picture just look so gnarly? Pretty cool. I think a really cool looking tattoo. It's like the uh, the dragon here has got a big taki in its mouth. The flames coming off it. I feel bad. I feel like the lighting is off here. Or I gotta clean the camera lens. On my end, it, it kind of looks a little hazy in here. So if it looks hazy. Oh, these look totally different. These are a little bit lighter. More orange. Looks almost like... Uh, cheese all right like I said I'm not gonna read off all these ingredients there's an ingredient label if you guys want to check it out not too bad these just say hot This one, guys. Me three. It says, it says in the bottom corner, it says spicy sweet chili. Um, for somebody that likes the flavor of chilies, but they really not want something spicy, if you're not a spicy person, this this one is um, actually pretty mild. Um, I'm getting almost no heat off of these. The flavor is really good. It does taste like it tastes like a sweet chili sauce. So I can't say that the flavor is bad. The flavor is good. Um, I was kind of hoping for a little more heat, especially with the dragon on there and the, and the flames coming off there. Really, it makes you think that you're going to be getting a lot of heat. But the flavor's good. The flavor's really, really good, and um, I would I would recommend anybody that likes sweet chili to try this at least. At least give it a shot and uh, let me know what you think. If you have tried it, please drop a comment and let me know. Um, I'm a sucker for heat. So this, I probably would have to choose between the Nitro and the Fuego. I like them. I like them all. So, and I've tried the Blue Heat. I forget, what the, I, I forget how hot the Blue Heat are. I haven't tried those in a while. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys have tried Takis and you tried all their flavors, let me know your favorite one because I would love to hear some feedback. Let me know which one you guys like the most, heat-wise, flavor-wise. I appreciate you guys watching Mainstream Monday, and I hope that uh, hope you guys like the next one around. Next Monday, I got something. Uh, I got something pretty cool planned. So. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys next Monday. I'll probably see you before then because I got some other stuff I'm going to review and maybe a possible challenge or two in the near future. I'm working on it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'm Kiki. This is Peppers for Christ. God bless. Have a great night.